<laughs> uh, all right. <coughs> also, is there, is there any way to disable ads on Twitch? Or is it just not possible? Only if you're subscribed to that, to that. Oh my god. I already have Twitch Prime, man. Why am I still subject to. Oh my god. Oh, and, and we can and we, and we can hear our voices. Very nice. Very nice. Damn, and, and the delay is like two seconds as well. That's. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, that in, in general that developed. I mean, I I think there there used to be a time on like you know Justin TV and I mean and, and on Twitch as well where there was always a quite the sizable delay on your stream and uh, then it was introduced that your stream delay that you could set it to like two or three seconds and man, man. Yeah, it really makes sense. Yes, so I have chats so I have easy. chat only. But uh, an ad is running in the background, regardless. Yeah. Oh. But also, do do we get oh. like does does the channel get any any money from watch from ads <laughs> theoretically? Yeah. The, here, the if I'm going to be talking here, I might as well have myself unmuted too. Um, but yeah, yeah uh, only recently was it introduced that uh. If you if you're an affiliate, uh, you could actually start making money on uh, Twitch ads for your channel because that used to yeah. be only for uh, partners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now uh, affiliates are yeah, but, also able to make uh, money off ads. But those but those ads before you didn't have you you weren't shown them if you had Twitch Prime, right? Uh, because correct. I never yeah. Had or, or no, yeah. only if you were subscribed to that channel. You don't see ads on channels you're subscribed to. Uh, okay. I thought I thought that was because of my ad blocker then. Uh, then it must have been because of my ad blocker and uh, your thing just surpassed oh, the yeah, ad blocker. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, Frank. What's up, my dude? Funky, well, Frankie. I, I think. Can he hear us? Yeah. 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 yeah he can hear us. Oh, too. we're live. Oh, so, so. We are live. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm again. just getting shit advertised right now, so pay no yeah, pay no just, heed to me. Getting into the mood, waiting for some people to show up, and yeah, maybe we should also invite some people. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good point. Am am I supposed to? Yeah, in, uh, invite them. I, uh, I I have them. I have them. Uh, I can't do that. So yeah, whatever. Yeah, I I invited them both. <laughs> Uh, oh, passive aggressive. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go um, mute myself uh, again. Yeah, great commentary. Well, f frankly speaking, it's mostly because I watched last week twice, and uh, Cinder got a lot of shit. You were really mean. Uh, so <laughs> today I'm a Cinder apologist trying to say that i'm deeply sorry if you guys felt by any means offended or you know you feel that you can't really play well versus this character but you know frankly speaking and if you were not part of this discussion you can you know stop listening for uh, like half a minute or whatever like dude just get your shit together like if you wage the amount of bullshit on both characters' ends, are you really that hurt? Like, come on. Can we be adults? Can we stop memeing? Hi, Maddie, you're also in this uh, in this stuff with me. Story. Hello, oh, uh, we, we had oh, this half you. a minute break for no reason. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> okay, we just need to wait for Element to to join this whole thing. Um, Illusion, if you can hear us, um, unready yourself for just a moment. 
Oh yeah, I'm looking at the chat. Today is the day the bone gasm gets in, and today's the day we will be able to burn the ghost. Like that's the best nightmare nightmare, yeah, best nightmare we could wish for. Like, let me tell you, in this matchup, Hisako burned my graphic card. So today I so can. today I, can. I get revenge. Well, there's also a chance that Element wins, and I'm not, you know, rooting for anyone in this instance. Like, how could I? Oh, damn! It's spooky. It's this October. Um, we we talk about that much. Could it could it be that Element was kicked, or I was kicked? Is is Element there for you guys? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I am worried. Where, where's Illusion from? Does anybody know? Uh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and other element is West West Coast, right? Yeah. Stop, stop, Sam. How's it going? So yeah, that that gap could be an issue, you know. Uh, for. You know, because of connection to Europe, East Coast is usually fine, but West Coast is where it gets a bit iffy sometimes. Yeah, that's Today, the thing is element, we're element isn't joining. That's the, that's the problem. I sent multiple emails so, out already. So today we're streaming one hour earlier, which is good for us uh, European folks. Because yeah, well, I I can't really stay. Oh, uh, am I only in the lobby with Maddie? No. Oh, yeah, I, it kicked I, me. I see I illusion arts and oh no, now now it kicked Sandy. Yeah. No, oh, that, that's a great man. start. Remake. Okay, sorry guys. We we need first of all we need to beat the lobby boss. So far it has been relentless. At least every single time Soundy and I casted these matches, every time we had issues with the lobby. It wasn't a single instant where everything worked flawlessly. I don't quite know about you know the the in-house US uh, US casters. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Dude, so... re remember uh, Resident Evil 2, which was remade uh, this year? It's be exactly the same thing. We have to remake the lobby. There is some scary man haunting us. <laughs> it's one-to-one. -one. Like, you know, what more can I say? All right. It's probably... I mean, I, I can't farm it again. Hopefully. Yeah, do it. Do it. I'm already in the searching lobby uh, portion of the, the client. Same, same, so. same settings as before. Oh, man. All right. All right. I'm in. I'm in. Atsu, uh, watch out. Yeah. He's in. Oh, yeah. Guys, five fail serious competitors okay. only. Right, Get so in. We're sorry for the issues, but you know how it is. Yeah, I mean, at this point, most viewers know All right, that. Right, topic. Thank you. There's You're always some problems. The fastest guy on the earth. And element. Oh, and element too. in. Oh, Great. God. We're starting okay. this. So, Soundy, you as a Cinder main player. You, are, yeah. you already uh, mentioned some thoughts uh, about this matchup earlier, but can you say who is generally favored in this matchup? I have no clue. That's the thing. I'm, I'm, in my opinion, it's towards uh, Cinder. But on the other hand, I was talking with Hotshot back in the day, and he says it's in Hisako's favor. Uh, I think my claim is more reasonable due to a burnout out on arms being such a disaster for Hisako. Mm. But guess those guys will show us how it works. Yeah, but obviously frankly speaking, I'll, I'll be I'll try to be as objective as 
possible. I, I, I'm not mistaken with my words. Never mind. Uh, we green, we bombs and we clap. That's really, you know, putting a lot of stress on Sako. So, mm. I want to see Element get through this pressure. And oh, Jesus, the color ten. Thank you, Illusion, for showing that, for reminding me. What my fate is. Slender's color ten is definitely among the best colors in the entire damn game. It's so good. Like you know, for example, Jago's color ten isn't really all that great. You need Jago's color eleven to be really showing out. All right. Ectopic but yeah. Okay. So we yeah, restrain uh, towards the pink, which you know half of his life bar is gone already. Lots of potential damage. Ooh, element. Great thing. Alright, yeah, DP, come on, do it. Crouch. Yeah. Alright, two bombs in. Aerial punish, but doesn't get anything off of it. Still a punish, element trying to take a grab. That never Medium came. break. Juicy. Fire up enter air. Huge. Oh, yeah, damage. optimal combo. Some damage. Doesn't choose All right, to do now instant anything. Pop. Um, from what I noticed is that element doesn't doesn't usually pop instinct very often, you know, on way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh no, no, you should not do that. Quite kill. And oh, flies no. right this, into this will carry. haunt him. Oh, that's a life bar. Oh my god, that's definitely the life bar. Oh, he probably didn't have to use meter. But, uh, so that can hurt. If he doesn't have a way to. Oh, oh what the heck? That's brutal. Element doing what he's supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. No he's scared. Way. He's scared. He wants to get this pixel as soon as possible. Oh. Right, but showing restraint, not deciding to block. This will end with level 3. Yeah. Oh, he's going for level 4. Will he get it? No. He just wasted the bar. It's really awful. Sometimes, sometimes that will work, sometimes it will not. Depends on how much Hisako had life before. Alright, this can deal a lot of damage. He decides to burn arm. Level 4. Burn Such a long... And the legs too. This is... Look at that potential damage accumulating. It's so much. Oh, that's oh unfortunate. One chance. Ah, he, he doesn't have the meter to cash out, unfortunately. Oh, one chance. And that's there. So yeah. Jesus. Man, that 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 was some really really some extremely good parries from Element there at, look... at the very end. Oh of yeah, his yeah. Well, th that's how you want to use that because what Element had no life. He had like exactly. a pixel. So, oh, did it kick someone? Um, I don't, I don't, maybe, maybe it kicked me. I, I don't see the competitors uh, counting down. Oh no. Now I see, now I see them. I still right. see something. So, so I'm, so I'm in this weird lobby where the countdown happened. Is stuff going on on your screen? Yes, yes, we are in character select. All right, so yeah, I am living this lobby and trying to find you. Okay, okay. Mm, I guess you're not on your own happens. My B. Yeah. Sorry, Sandy. In, 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 our, in our previous cast, it was. I mean, usually it is I who is kicked, but this time it's Sandy. It's. I mean, in in, gen, in in general, this only really happens um, if the connection is overseas. Like you know, if you're only in Europe or only in the US, it's it's usually fine. But uh, across the sea, it, it's where it gets where it, where it gets a, bit, a little bit tough. Nah, fuck, fuck, Bobby. But yeah. Free. I mean, that was a very, very strong showing. Oh, yeah, for players. sure. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, uh, my client I, I, I... crashed. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Is... Uh, all right. Oh, will the match and, even and... load now? And pe people can hear okay. your sound, by the way? Uh, Atsu, yeah. by the way? Yeah, no, I know. They can. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, what? I missed punish from Element. Oh wait, but no, he can't, right? He, he can't, his Zako can't really punish it. Uh, uh, I believe she can actually use uh, either stand medium punch or 
crouch. Wait, no, crouch medium kick is like seven frames, I believe. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's minus six, right? The flame is minus six. Yeah. Also, Akka doesn't really have a way to get a combo start, unless she has full wrath and does influence. Yeah. Right. See? Yeah. Yeah, so what yeah. he tried to do right only there, never, though... Only level 2 ender for such a large, large amount of effort, but still, burn, burnout ender at pretty much every level is huge. Oh, yeah. Break? Okay, Break. very that good. Very nice. Okay, very good shadow on the counter. shadow counter. And the heavy break again. Oh, Real land. Well. Yeah, that's immediate cash out. Ah, doesn't get as many hits in. Oh, element is so lucky that that didn't do more damage. Okay, he could potentially win this, right? No, not enough. Definitely. He has to get the next mix up right here. That doesn't go. Well, he still gets the punish anyway and, and takes the first life bar. Oh, I put some stuff into the corner again, but it works. Oh, wow. That was one of the farthest reaching fissures I've ever seen. Oh yeah, the the hitbox on uh, Vision just gets like gets Vision. massive whenever he's fired up. It's crazy how much bigger it actually gets. It's really good. Trying to go for the Cinder special, full screen, mm -hmm. uh, low inferno into shadow, fucking trailblazer. Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, random influence across the screen. Boom! Throw oh, reset? Good. Nope. Uh. Then just goes for another one! Wow! Like it. Amazing. Even, wait, even though Dale, illusion, that, illusion had the meter to shadow count and element does not have anything, that was very risky potentially. And again, that's like the fourth parry on... Yeah. On the that's like... Game. See, now, what he did right there was... Uh, if, if, for the people that don't know, uh, Isako actually did a uh, option select right there, where uh, she does like a media against Cinder's wake up. But then also inputs uh, quarter circle forward triple punch. And what happened is if the button hits, uh, she goes into shadow Rekka or just regular Rekka. Or uh, if nothing hits, like say if they reversal, she gets parry instead. Yeah. And the sound where it you work, at. Does it, does it, does it, does it work for the, for the normal Rekka? Because you can cancel the normal Rekka into parry as well, right? Yes. Yeah, if you have no meter, what happens is, uh, if you do the input right, uh, just, I believe, Heavy Rekka, wait, no, I think Light Rekka comes out. If you use Triple mm -hmm. Punch. It should, yeah, it yeah, should yeah, be yeah. Light Rekka, yeah. Yeah, of course, because, you know, uh, Killer Instinct's priority system always prioritizes oh. the weak button. Yeah. You know, the, the, the opposite of what Street Fighter usually does. In Street Fighter, usually, uh, it's... Uh, the heaviest button. Yeah, the, the, the heavier button uh, comes first, and the kick button comes first. But uh, in Killer Instinct, it's reversed. You know, it's more uh, punch button first, and light button first. Also, is Soundy just dead? All right, so... To yeah, sure add on my story... You can hear me, right? Yeah. yeah. So... I tried to find your lobby, it didn't work. All right, happens. I went into this Xbox Finny, you know? Yeah. And tried to join via Medis uh, mm -hmm. profile. Yeah. And it says and you can't. And then the game said, yeah, unable to connect to multiplayer. Okay, Element was having the same problem too. So we might have to try to reform lobbies. But maybe don't do that now because right oh, yeah, now I of can't even get into the client, so I'm working on that because I, you know, restarted the whole game save in in service. Uh, are you guys like waiting? Uh, is this the intermission between games? Or... No, no, no it's, they're on the match right, right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Like El oh oh no, no, you're good. Like Element That's hit uh, good, Illusion with like a really nasty like fake cross up looking setup. And another. Wow, that was. That, that's it's actually really no smart. Inferno, though. Yeah. Dash! Oh, dash up oh, command grab. Oh my god, the degeneracy at play, folks. Just... Oh. So oh. Yeah. <laughs> like the fastest forward dash in the game that also low profiles a bunch of shit. Oh, element did, didn't cancel into. Because I think what he. Oh, oh and he misses the cash out on the. The element oh now has a chance God. to build back all of that potential damage on top of her. 
But um, uh, element not not going for the counter break. Very smart. Very patient. Right, from reading the chat, I noticed mm. no, the carry the grab happened. Uh, Very good. Uh, not... And another reason. Oh, the the guess break up. <laughs> it did. Another shadow grab. Okay, this is going yeah. to be an uphill battle for Illusion right now. He's going to have to okay. work his fucking ass off right now. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Just gets command grab, fuck it. Right, so I'm back in the lobby and I'm noticing there is a clear correlation between, uh, you know, games element is winning and me not being, uh, you know, in the commentary. <laughs> the lobby. Cinder players cursing the Hisako players. Oh, yeah, I, I think I got cursed by Hisako, so thank you, get lost, sod off. Oh, yeah, I can see something. Don't and, worry, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to mute myself now. No, no, don't go, Atsu, okay. sorry, I'm sorry, it wasn't towards you. Oh, Goodbye, Atsu. Alright, now, the experiment going on right now is, will I get kicked after just one game? But yeah, they're picking. Uh, definitely there was something new in Element's play, I can't tell you what, uh, but he, he's he's getting it, so let's see if uh, in, uh, not in kill, uh, Illusion will be able to strike back. Village of Whispers. Yeah, and, 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 that, and that map specifically, it was really unlucky for, Ill for Illusion that he, did, that he didn't get the huge, huge level 5 uh, juggle cash. Did cashier. he like miss? Uh... Yeah, he missed. <laughs> but, was... but what, what happened? Uh, did like the Shadow DP whiffed or did he get uh, yeah, Shadow Inferno? I, yeah, I, I believe he juggled with his DP flame and then uh, it was just, just too far away. Was like oh, max, right, max, right. max distance. Sure. And he, yeah. And I'm getting. Uh, is it is it starting for you? No, it's not. Oh yeah, oh, it's no, no, it's no, started. Start. Okay. Console okay. loading time. Shall I really start? dislike this color for Cinder. Yeah. Element All trying right. to go for the punish bait. Oh, will he be able to? Nah. All right, bomb is. And far another barrier attempt. Illu Illusion great combo. Great combo. Very of those carries. A lot of damage. Attempt to push punish misses. Who blows up the wrecker? Love it. Oh, will will keep the shadow in front? Oh, yeah. A lot of damage. It will sadly not kill. But... So 43% is the size oh. of the center. Oh, I really like this path. I'm not. Uh, familiar with this one, he actually allowed uh, Element to go to the other side and continued with Crouch Heavy Punch, but he gets Low Inferno and Counter Breaker! Alright, that's Burnout. Level 3, oh no, not Burnout, he goes for damage, level 3, 33%. Yeah, that's, that's what you have to work with. Element too scared to actually do Respect in DP. Mm -hmm. Still has an activated instinct and finally goes for it. And gets the overhead. Goes for a reset, doesn't quite work out. Oh, and those those underground tunnels, they're, they're really working out for, for him. That's like the third or fourth time in this set, when it was successful. Oh, will he go for a counter? Nah. So, it's, 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 it's very much in favor for the breaker, for such a long Shadow Linker, in my opinion. Oh, optimal punish. Uh, will he get. That was a guest break. That was definitely a guest break. That's incredible the moves I have to. Okay. He gets it. That's 2 2. And everything checks out. Everything checks out. Sound is in the lobby. Cinder's, you know, get power up. It's like a buff in. Uh, what is it? Like uh, Fire Emblem, yeah? Units are close <laughs> to each other, they're stronger. That's exactly that. <laughs> All right, and I'm happy because like Ectopian was definitely one of the players I looked up to when I started the game, and I can commentate his uh, game and see what he has in store. Which you know, for, for me, that's an interesting Welcome. occasion or experience rather. Mm. 
Alright, alright, alright. Uh, how, how, how do you think Illusion is faring so far? What do you think he needs to so, do? So I really... Uh, well, I really like what he showed up in this game. He decided to DP during uh, Element Combo to stop those uh, reset command grabs from happening. And also twice in a row he DP'd her uh, Shadow ORZ on reaction, I think. Mm -hmm. So where's that? Yeah, and he, he also doesn't... He, he plays with Burnout Enders, but not too much, you know, he, he takes those level 3 damage and you know, just save damage, uh, you know, to, to just continually pressure Sarko, um, you know, especially if you have the life lead, you know, and the, the, the less health the opponent has, the less uh, health the opponent can use as a resource. Yeah. And I mean, and sometimes you have to use your health as a resource because of the combo system. You know, some sometimes you have to take those level three damage combos because you you might be afraid of a counter break or a combo break. And we take those ectopic with the peace uh, skin. So oh, we just get a punish. What I found uh, funny is that the bomb actually attached to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. So I've got the bomb. And the fission. Is that a true box stream, by the way? Fission into fission? Uh, Shadow fission? No, 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 no. Not if it isn't uh, fired up, so. If it's not fired up, okay. And, and I think it wasn't, so. I don't know what happened there, actually. Uh, oh, <laughs> Ooh, that That's nasty. I would have blown out. Yeah, but that, that's amazing way to use uh, instinct. Cinder sometimes, you know, drops stuff. Like, let's say, crouch um, medium kick. It can sometimes not actually hit. So that's your best time to pop instinct and try to do something. On the defense. And a sliver of life gets the fairy broken again. Fun reaction. Just trying he to. Could beat. theoretically continue the combo with Shadow Trailblazer, but let's not do that. An element. Going for the Shadow Counter. Yeah, you can't Shadow oh. Counter that. Oh, he, I really like this path. He picked. Jesus, that's, that's damage. Oh no! Why? If you went for a life anchor, nothing would have happened. That's definitely punished. Great punished. Oh, oh, the target combo doesn't quite reach. Still, lots of potential damage built up on Sarko. Tries to be B by element, getting patient enough to not get hit by those two And finally gets in. Man, that, that influence had a lot of reach. I mean, that was like probably heavy influence. Element will be patient. Not breaking on those heavy auto doubles. Not going for this. So still taking damage, taking the setup, rebuilding his wrath meter. Dude, in the corner now. What's he going to do? Oh, that's just. That's what you want to do as a Sacco player. That was so smart. And just just bait TPs. That was really great on uh, Element's end. Unfortunately, Element getting hit by that heavy trailblazer. Heavy trailblazer. That, that trailblazer is broken. Okay. It's quite difficult to block. Oh, great read. Everyone is so scared to do anything. I think I think he tried to go for a reset. Was scared of the DP. And I just didn't do anything. And I was wondering if Element would decide to do the option he represented before in this particular game. Uh, while, ble be while having a bump on him, he decided to do an ant here, which uh, was fast enough to actually catch, uh, jump in to detonate. So that's an interesting option uh, for a Hisako. So let's see. Yeah, Hisako's anti air really reaches very far up, and Cinder players, I mean, they, they, they usually try to get something out of 
uh, the detonation uh, when they're uh, coming down. I mean, if, if you do it at the start of your jump or at the very apex of the jump, you probably won't get much reward out of the, out of the detonation, right? What I found out recently and that's really interesting is that uh, let's say you do diagonal uh, trailblazer and you go back, you can actually detonate uh, the bomb before you reach the ground. <laughs> that's a funny oh, thing. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I found out. Well, also, I found out recently that you can actually detonate uh, grenades after manuals inside the combo. So that's also sick. Mm -hmm. Play ranked because you can find some weird tech. Yeah, what I cancer. personally like to do versus Rekka is to guess uh, overhead or low and try to grab. Because versus heavies, Cinder sadly cannot. Oh, he yeah, tried to do it, but uh, got uh, high inferno. Oh. Deep is out. But Goes I'm, for a grab. Really, right, throws the bomb. What I'm wondering is why Illusion is getting blown up by those side switches of his circle. Because, I mean, the you know, the, the sort of stuff you need to do to punish a parry seems to be similar to, you know, punishing the, the side switch in that situation. So I'm not sure why, why Illusion, uh, you know, keeps right. getting hit by that. Clap ruined uh, parry previously. Alright, but this kills, Ooh. yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that to kill. That was that was a lot of damage. Out of nowhere. It was like one break of the move. Yeah, and you get parried. Immediate. Instant immediate Yamakan. Oh yeah. Well the best uh, part for Cinder for Illusion is that her instinct is mostly gone. Yeah. Alright. Element not looking out for his toes, gets burned out. Oh Jesus, bomb into another bomb. And that's a big combo out of it. That's not at the very end. An element there, not looking out. very good. One third of a life play against one full life, so... You know, though. if a character has a, you know, comeback potential, like, that's definitely Hisako. She's one of the best at that stuff. Oh yeah, and definitely. this combo will hurt. We are looking. Oh, decides to go for walls clap. Right. Yeah, the, he, 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 wants to, he wants to rebuild his wrath. Maybe. You cannot DP that. Oh and a God. great call from Element. All right, this combo can kill. Well, what will happen? Yeah, it, oh. will, it will definitely kill. Uh, I, I really like that Ectopic uh, didn't want to enter air or DP there. So. The aerial Oreo zone. Um, but he's, he didn't get the ground to punish. It was a really fast recovery from his arco there. Alright, the like first the time I good. witnessed in this lobby element actually beating uh, Illusion, so it's not that fake stuff you guys made up <laughs> to make me sad. Alright, 3-3. Free, free. I, I don't know what to even uh, ask out of those players because the games right now are re really great. At least yeah. what I saw, I don't know what happened in game number two or three. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, so far it's been relatively similar. So I, mean, I think bo both players have really great game plans and uh, they're executing them to their best ability. And you know, it's, it's really just a matter of, you know, can you interrupt, the, can you interrupt those resets? Uh, when are you reading those DPs? Uh, how I'm, I, I can't wait for a moment where Element decides to parry during his combo, baiting the grab reset and uh, Ectopic falling for that and doing DP. I want to <laughs> see some uh, a sequence like this happening. Yeah, I know just, it's really dumb, just, but just I don't care. Illusion for mashing. Yeah. I would be sick, man. Oh, huge knockout. I think it's a level 3 ender though. Oh, and for some reason missed the grab ender. Alright, tax the grab. And so it gets blown up. Yeah, turn out. Arms on fire. 
huge aerial pressure. A shadow counter though. An element has been on point with shadow countering yeah. those visions. She she couldn't do any linkers because they would set the arms on fire. Yes. But he still cashes out. Of course. 36%. Plus one, one, one or two chances for Cinder and such a large amount of damage. All right, and great. Like that, now you're in the corner. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh that catches him with heavy punch. Oh, yeah, and drops him out. I don't think that was needed, but better safe than sorry. Definitely, yeah. He wanted yeah, to so send him a message. I don't need this bar. To what, beat what, you. I, what, what I've seen so far is that illusion is getting blown up by those delayed auto bubbles. Like the, the third oh, yeah, time yeah. or so, and that he locks out of it. And you really have to be very careful when breaking Sago. Sago is not a particularly easy character to break. Oh, that shadow gauntlet. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> With Scumbag. And right. illusion is not on the other very punish. Nicely done. But it now that I think of it, why why illusion trailblaze the other way? Like why game allowed him to do that? <laughs> oh, interesting choice doing a oh, kick button. He gets the answer, even though his Sako had a knockdown. Oh, will he burn? Now he decides to go for damage. Continues the combo. Of damage. Bump is on him. Forty nine percent. Oh you no, that's just a regular! You can't do that. If he, if, if he just did a regular DP, that would've worked. But, uh, oh, that was a full Is it his death? It's his death. Yeah, yeah, he did it. He, he's not, he was still an instinct. And, as you know, uh, influence starts a combo if, uh, if she, it's not because of full wrath. And Devil pointing out that Illusion got caught by Wake Up Command Grab like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. I, mean, I mean, it is a really strong option for Asako though. I mean, it, it's grab and vulnerable, it starts up in like 3 frames. It's very Some fast. of us like our meat is loose, so you know. Uh, Hisako definitely a character to punish you for those, but mm. what can you do? Not counting the fact that uh, Clap is like brain dead, meaty. <laughs> All right. All right. It's for free. For yeah. Almond. It is really even. Like but both players are really showing us their strong side here. Oh, Hisako stage and definitely green being the dominant color here. Uh... Oh, and yeah, uh, Illusion reminded me that accessories for Cinder actually exist, because I don't use them ever. Uh, yeah, I, 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 re I really like the, the accessory that he used on his piss cutter. <laughs> <laughs> you called it piss cutter? I called it. I, I did it. Okay, element. Wait, huge medium break. jump in, huge jump in. But now it is himself, finds himself on the corner. Alright, right, he'll be able to detonate. Decides to go for more bombs. Getting blown up by the tech attempt. Full unscaled All right. You, you stay in this corner. Oh, Quick recap. Heavy link is not broken. Oh. Oh, you gets it with the flames! No, you oh, can't that's an do that! Alright, alright, alright. This was the situation three. where and Element... Fairy into Fairy! Element did what... Oh, get the command uh, counter breaker. Alright, Element did what I wanted him to do. Is to reset with nothing. I wanted him to parry, and he didn't do parry. Just block. And that's why he got blown up for that. <laughs> Come on. I, I know you can do that. And grab, yeah, takes out the life bar. What Great evasion. Fight. 
Right, both life, both players have full life bars. Oh, it doesn't get the card. Crap. It gets a small amount of damage then. Again with the fake visions. Oh, Element tried to do a really, really meaty on the other side. Yeah. Back out. Got punished for it. Quick, small combo. Doesn't take the Alright, instinct box. What will happen, yeah. happen with that? <laughs> you can't see his dark out. What does she do? Cinder flies so high in the air. Right, decides That's to break, process. not scared of counter breaker. Oh, Alright, yeah. you have Another. to break that. Oh. Yeah, to Element's there. defense, trying to break that is really horrible. It because is. you don't really yeah. know when to start. And I think he, in this instance, the Trailblazer hit like four times. But it mm, could yes. have been the situation where you got only three chances. So you have yeah. to break on first one if you want to get exactly. out of this pressure. And or this combo. And sometimes at, at longer ranges, it only hits two times, which is really, really unfair, of course. In, in that oh, situation. Well. I mean, not really unfair, I guess, but you know, it makes it impossible for the opponent to, to break. Yeah, I'd like uh, Shadow Trailblazer to get the same treatment as uh, Shadow Wind Kick, so if it hits, it hits five times. Uh, Shadow Wind make... Kick? I don't, I don't think Shadow Wind Kick hits five times in every single instance. It doesn't hit five times if you do... Uh, what was it? It was... I think yeah. full range. Yeah, full, full, full uh, range of a jump, in, ju yeah. jump, heavy punch into standing. No, a jump, heavy kick, full range yeah. into max range, standing, heavy punch into sh uh, shadow wind kick. Actually, the first hit doesn't connect, and shadow wind kick hits only four times. Yeah. So it's a great way for Jago to like uh, maybe get someone to lock out or. Yeah, I believe a move that, that really always, always hits five times is uh, Shadow Blade Dash of Fogo. DMC yeah. bragging about anyway. what horrible things he did to Illusion. Uh, I like this I like this color, this blue with uh, red accessories. Yeah, that looks really I, nice. I might steal that. Start knockdown. We start this as well. So again, just jumps in. No answer and no nothing. Decides to not break heavies and locks out afterwards. All right. BP. BP. Going to do some damage. Burn out and yes. It's going to be a lot of potential damage. That's a grab. Not sure what element should to do here. Immediate recapture! One chance in 36. That's sad. And so, yeah. Fantastic yeah. option. Oh, that's oh, so and unfortunate and for Element. But he gets, uh, you know, yeah, Yamakan in return. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! no, no, no not quite and a another Yamakan! Oh my and god! No way! Man, Illusion was robbed hard! What a sequence! Oh my god! Thank you, Sako, for being the character you are. <laughs> that carry was godlike. They're just showing your dominance. And yeah, Illusion like responds with DP as a true gentleman does. <laughs> what a pitiful <laughs> inferno. Wow, that was a really, really deep. Uh, All right, really, really yeah. ambiguous cross -up. Great way to continue the combo, get the most out of it. 40%. That's the damage. Just Time and it checks the side switch. Oh, gets somewhat gets. Weirdly hit by the trailblazer. This will hit, yeah. That's a really scary, that's a really scary situation. All right, gets a break. Wow. Okay, one chance into ultra. Can you not do an immediate ultra in that situation? I, I, I guess I guess not because it, he was in the air. Mm. 
Yeah, good point. I don't think he could. I think he could have, you know, popped instinct on the ground. Like later, after a second yeah. hit, because she didn't have uh, enough mm. meter to actually True. do a represent Shadow Counter. But on the other hand, like, it was uh, a really close situation. I wouldn't look at the Shadow situation. I just, you know, regardless of how much meter Hisako has, I would do that stuff just in case. Yeah. It's hard to, yeah, you know, have everything in check. To check everything. So yeah. Five, four, four illusion. So th th these sets are really, really close. Really, right, really Devil, you're saying that he watch. tried to do uh, it, this uh, save, but he could have also popped Instinct after the second hit of uh, Heavy Trailblazer, and he would still be plus. Uh, not, the, the, no, the, he couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't have uh, Instinct cancelled if it's Arco Shadow Count. All right, all right. <laughs> cool. Check yes. speed, no. teleport, and. Def great defense. Gets blown up by the. Oh my god. Oh, very solid pressure. Who doesn't. Doesn't quite reach. So many fissions. Empty. Empty jump into throw. Alright, great way. Yeah, that's it. Continue. Alright guys, I'm referring to the situation where uh, Illusion knew the meter the situation, then he could have done it. But of course your claim is correct. That's that. And let's keep it like oh, there. Oh no. no! He was greedy! He was greedy, he went for meter and uh, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter I think she loses know. her invulnerability after 4 hit. Oh! He totally tried to do DP. <laughs> And got jump into light kick. Oh my god. Oh, I'm and that's unfortunate, but on the other hand, he fanned the flames. Was it uh, open or ender? No. Oh. Illusion had. Cash is out. Medium gets broken. That's a punish. That's definitely breakable. Oh, checks with a heavy kill. Oh, blows up the shadow counter. Takes the win. Six, four. Oh, illusion. It's not actually the. It's not. It's not actually the, the largest difference so far. Was it? Wasn't it always about maximum one win difference? Oh yeah, you're right. You're completely <laughs> right. Yeah, Ill illusion. Going ahead. <laughs> Indeed. 6 4 matchup confirmed. I, I, I really have to respect the craft of Illusion to being able to do the crossfire, the uh, down heavy kick button on standing Hisako because she is so small. I was scared that it would just whiff <laughs> and he would be so annoyed. I would be so annoyed. Like, you know, I have. Pencil, I don't know what I would do with it. But that's up to you to decide, dear viewer. Let's see what element we will do with his Naginata. Because well, that's what, that's a game point, that's a set point. Yeah, I, I feel like Element's game plan is solid so far, it just hasn't really been working out for him. Ill Illusion got, has it's just continuous good reads on him. So he, he needs to somehow switch it up. I, I believe maybe Element needs to block just a tiny bit more on Wake Up. I think that Element would be hyper annoyed after the situation with Jump Light Kick, where clearly it was supposed to be a DP. <laughs> no one's going to convince yeah. me it wasn't the attempt. Like, come on. Amazing. Checks it again. Blows up the parry attempt again. Hey, Element's getting a little too parry heavy. This time it breaks the outrun though. 
Imagine if he parried that as well. So can can Chisako punish Trailblazer as always? Because it's Mario 3. Mm, I don't know. Alright. Shadow Water Z gets it. Oh, he didn't look for his toes. Level oh, 2, okay. fair enough, Ender. Oh, that's oh. sad. Wasn't that? It's a threat of the carry sound. Decides to pop instinct to deal as much damage as possible. And gets oh, the yeah. hit. Well, I'm in dashing in. Gets blown up by a throw. That's what I, that's not what I would have expected. What is element going to do? Oh, what's that? Be bomb. Look like an open damage. Oh yeah, what I was talking about. Oh, did, did like he that. grab the parry? Right. Element not <laughs> not that great of a life situation, but that's, that's a great start. That's also a great start. Oh this no! Is, this is he punish. No way. Get blown oh, this up will by the this heavy will... again. Oh, what that's that. Ah. And illusion. Well, obviously, gets yeah, it. Try, even though it's only the seven. Oh, what right. are you talking? <laughs> Oh, right, it is the I forget. I keep forgetting. <laughs> right, so, so both the amazing uh, down up <laughs> from uh, illusion, the key back, make me laugh. <laughs> you're, you're confused uh, with the seventh game. <laughs> of course, I, 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 we, we casted so many first attempts as practice that I didn't quite realize. Of course, it's first right, seven. Illusion yeah. takes it. Thank you for uh, playing. Thank you, Element, for also being a part. Oh, is Atsu gone for you, maybe? Yeah. Oh, uh, I a think perfect, we... perfect timing, Ooh. actually. <laughs> okay, yeah, we are, we are just making taking a short little break. Next on, we have Moth Mouse with his Kirgor versus Crash or Kami with his Saber Wolf. Very, very interesting matchup. One you don't see too often, as Kilgore isn't really a character that's played very often. And we'll see you guys soon. Yeah, see ya.
Okay, welcome everybody. We are back. What a day to be alive. Not once, but twice did Hisako get beaten on Devil's Landing. Like, is there any more joy you can imagine? <laughs> because, you know, previously, before the break, I was like, oh, sorry, Element, he did try to his best. But now we can, you know, get this illusion of, you know, being kind to Hisako players away. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Oh, all right, they're both in. So, okay. Moth Mouse. He's playing so... Kilgore, and yeah, we have Wolf on the other side. So, both of these players are newer players, uh, but of course, that's okay. I mean, uh, Illusion and Element, of course, they're high level players, but here at Devil's Landing, everyone can play. And, oh, uh, you know, did, of course, we are did, trying to match you, players sorry. with equal skill levels, obviously. Did, did the lobby crash for you? No, it didn't. All right, so I'm possibly out. Damn it. Okay. Unfortunately, another lobby. Oh man. Yeah, that, that's karma. I, I was mean to his echo players and they get me. You know, at the start of. They get you from beyond the grave. I yeah, see from it. the grave. Okay, are we seeing the full intros? Of course we are. We have Kilgo versus Saberwolf. So, of course, in this matchup, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I'll hop on mic really quick. Now, I can't imagine this matchup, you know, being fun at all for Wolf, like in the absolute slightest. Like, Kilgore, like, since, you know, Wolf is so bad against zoning in general. Like, Kilgore also has, like, one of the hardest zoning walls to try to make it past, what with the guns, missiles, and the ability to exhaust cancel. So this is definitely going to be an uphill battle for Crash here. Exactly. So uh, he, he might have some moment he can probably, you know, dash under, run, run low hit under the, some of the projectiles. Yeah. Uh, but of course, uh, Kilgore also has projectiles against that, that hit low. And that right here, uh, that that Shadow Ragged Edge, that's um, invulnerable against projectiles. Um, and it costs one bar. Uh, but Kilgore can also spend an entire bar to whiff cancel any move, to any projectile move, and in turn making safe against any sort of attempt to circumvent his wall of projectiles. Man, it's so, so good. So with Wolf in general, it's really tough. But what helps Wolf in this matchup is that he has a very high movement speed in general. So uh, uh, if he blocks projectiles and walks forward, he gains a considerably more distance than, say, Ram, for instance. Oh, for sure. And one of the other things that actually does make this matchup a bit harder for uh, Wolf is that uh, normally he has, like, say, a uh, run slide to avoid projectiles. But because Kilgore's light missiles have, like, very, very light uh, homing on them, uh, I believe if he tries to run slide under them, the light missiles actually curve down towards the ground and will hit Wolf regardless. Ooh, Wolf getting an opening. Moth Mouse got caught hitting some buttons. And yeah, for, for, for those of you who, who don't know, in, in Killer Instinct, uh, if you if you press a button during one of the shadow freezes or instinct freezes or any kind of freeze, um, the, the button is stored and immediately executed uh, as soon as possible. So in, in other fighting games, for instance, uh, the move doesn't come through. The, the input is completely eaten. And here we actually see an example of uh, Wolf getting under those missiles. So okay, from, yeah, because I... Range, it definitely works. Okay, so... I, I guess I was just proven wrong right there about like how the missiles curved down to hit him yeah. on run slide. It might have been a range thing, you know? Maybe the missiles start to lock on, maybe just a little bit more further across the screen. Yeah, but, but still, it's a... Uh, okay, now... It's still uh, valuable too. When... Uh, and it's meterless, which is, which is important. Not, not every character has meterless options to circumvent projectiles. Like Jago, for instance. Like For Jago, this, this matchup is absolutely horrible. Because the only real way to get through projectiles is Shadow Wind Kick. Shadow Wind and, Kick obviously has a huge Shadow Freeze that uh, yeah. Kiko can react to with an exhaust. Well, uh, uh, allow me to interrupt. In theory, you can react to you know my missiles and just charge up your fireball and do something with that. 
or use Shadow Fireball to have a chance to close the gap at least a little bit. Yeah, yeah like say in uh, roughly about mid range, uh, Shadow Fireball isn't like a bad option for Jago to use to like force Kilgore to either say take some kind of defensive option, like say either do a spot dodge or a back dash or you know just block the fireball. It allows Jago to close the distance really well. But not all the time though, because like right outside of like poke range, all Kilgore has to really do is just like jump heavy punch to just jump over the fireball and then just hit Jago for trying to walk in. So it's one of those really like spacing dependent moves. Yeah, it jumps in at the right time. Because it gets some sort of pressure going. Oh, but doesn't quite get in, gets under the missiles again. Very, very nice showing. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's, oh, that's unfortunate. Like, sliding under that just to end up recovering right into the Shadow Gun Dash? Oh my god, I'd be so mad. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> oh no, missed the input by not mouse. It's the grab anyways. Doesn't go for the Oki. The Oki probably wouldn't have killed. The, the off the ground, uh, the backlash shenanigans that he has. Yeah. But that would have been worth it for the chip. Anyway, not much gets to kill for the first dive round. There's a good chunk of life to go through before Crash of Dami. Unfortunately, he drops the combo. Even though he pressed instinct. And here, see, since Mothmoth didn't have meter, uh, Kami could have. Uh, better like it had for Oh my god, he got the, the fucking counterbreak, he better kill! There we go. <laughs> and the taunt? Yeah, and the two back. Wow, these two players are popping off. Does he get the grab? Ah, I didn't quite get the grab. Okami really popping off now, trying to get in as fast as possible to circumvent Moss. And he gets another. Oh no! Oh no, he's just smashing counter breaks all day. Ah! Mashing on all of those mediums. <laughs> that was an okay. ultimate end though. I think that's the first one that Moth Mouse has actually successfully uh, broken. Because uh, Crash mm -hmm. has been doing a lot of opener enders into like wall splat ender mid screen. So it's a. Uh... Moth Mouse still has instinct available, and that should be it. Okay, that, that was an <laughs> opener ender, but it didn't matter. It killed anyway. <laughs> Yo, I mean, fuck it. Pop off on every win, right? <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, that's a question. It really doesn't that, matter. That's, even... that's the real mind game. So you're able to take it back. Yeah, it, it's 1-1, one, one, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go back into hiding. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Atsu, bye. Oh, yeah, I really like right, what Kufu. Cool cool. I really like Kufu. Yeah, yeah. Because... Okami, all right. I don't know if you can listen to me. Like, reach out to, you know, the fattest descendants you have. And just channel all their feral energy in this one moment and hold like a crazy person. You can do this. All right. Uh, uh, do we have more time? Yeah. And on the other hand, uh, Moth Mouse, yeah, he's playing uh, Kilgore. I want him to imagine me spinning my spoon in my tea and, you know, getting this rotation. And if you get, what what was it, the golden mean, yeah, you basically won, so you, both players received uh, some tip from me, we can get into this first to six set. And if, if that wasn't premium advice right there, I don't know what would be. Yeah, big time. Okay, both players feeding each other out. Not oh, I don't like the jump back, I think that's the worst thing you can do. Yeah, as, as Wolf, you definitely have to keep up the pressure. Don't let oh, Kilgore get away. Oh, great evasion, but Yamakan gets what? in. And what? I, I believe we're going to see an opener counter break very soon. This man is trying to break the casino like, you know, he's rolling the dice like crazy. All right, punished for doing... Oh, that's... That wasn't quite an opener. That, that's, that's definitely amazing. <laughs> oh, no. After oh, that was not right. open the render. Open anyway. Tries to keep up the pressure. Get grab. Exhaust. Oh, instinct drop. 
All right, we, we, we're not doing combos, guys. Ma manuals and buttons only. Neutral, baby. The challenge. Can, 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 can you win Killer Instinct without any combos? And only open handles. <laughs> Ooh! Kilgross, somehow it's actually... dodging everything. Amazing. Oh my god. Still a sliver of Instinct left. Uses the fairy cancels very nice to chip him out. Very well done by both players. They're really even so far. Full meter available for both players. Let's see what they can do with it. Will Willow Kami use it to get to the projectiles and will Mothmas use it to. Will, he, will we get Shadow Exhaust? Counter? We get a grab. No Shadow Counter. Shadow, but decides not to Shadow Counter. Oh, let's want to get some distance. Gets under the missiles again. Just to give up the pressure. But he, he doesn't. Opener Ender. Keeps on. Opener Ender. Oh, is he a shadow figure? We? Yes, see finally. It. Keeps it. Takes advantage of the lockout. This is heavy language and heavy. Open our ender. Open our ender. So, in general, as an advice, as an as advice for everyone, um, if you if you think it's an opener ender, just try to break heavies. Uh, it's you, you can't be punished for it. If you if the opponent uses an ender and you break heavies, either you're successful or nothing happens. The opponent cannot uh, counter break it. No, nothing. So it's, it never hurts, you know, to uh, use heavy breaks when the opponent ends a combo. It literally never hurts. All right, so it's 2-1 in this really weird experience. Yeah, but, uh, uh, I, think, I think there is something... Hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, there's something noble in playing KI without doing combos. <laughs> yeah, and in my opinion, it's really interesting how uh, how how these two players approach the matchup, and and uh, I would I would say it's mostly correct even for both players. So their 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 overall game plan is solid. Very yeah, solid. Yeah, the intent in is right, uh, but the, it, the, the substance is iffy. Yeah, it's 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 lacks uh, on the execution department, but you know, but that's that's one of the the lesser worries that you actually have, especially in Killer Instinct. You know, it comes relatively easily with practice, and you know, have, having that game plan, having the mindset, is so much more important. Uh, right, combo gets blown up, a great and we see an actual combo. combo. Yeah. Both players are actually taking advice to be hot, and yeah, right as I say, but <laughs> open and render. Lots of well, it, if it if it's not getting broken, Ooh, what I am I going see. to say? Yeah. Another combo. Another combo. Lots of jumping for Akami, and Mothma's not really sure to deal with it. Another opener and he, he knew how to block high, but he, he didn't he, he doesn't quite have the shadow counters in in his mind. He is he he's very focused on blocking that. Uh, I I believe um, earlier in the set he was he was blown up by the fact that it was that it's an overhead shadow egg wedge. Uh, but uh, he needs to be aware that he can also shadow counter as well. And now, of course, instinct zoning, very, very strong. Tries to shut the metal ball to get out of the corner. Solid choice. Get some more Mothmouth zoning going. Keeps the offense, just shoots this wolf to death. And it takes takes him chip. out. Not A bad. great way to use meter. And I'm, not, I'm sure if it's for you as well, but for me, Saber Wolf is still burning. He's still burning hot. Oh yeah, passion. yeah, big, big time. You're completely right. All right, decides to use instinct. Oh, Pharaoh to... cancel into the throw reset. I like it. Have to be 
Yeah, we have patience. And he actually gets the punish. Amazing. He uses the Feral Cancel to do some big damage. And finally, Mothmoss breaking the open end. Maybe that's a sign for Pressure Kami to finally do something about it. Pops the instinct just as it is. Sometimes it's really just better to, to pop your instinct. Yeah, uh, just if pop it. it it's, it's better to pop it than to not pop it. Exactly. Oh, that's a huge lockout. Oh, unfortunately, he didn't react fast enough. He thought the one was going to break. Really nice block on that ragged edge. Oh, Ooh, this that, can that's kill. Surely death. This kills. Nicely done by Moth Mouse. Moth Mouse keeps for him. his advantage. True Ultimate. Thompson, please stream if you are in here. Sadly, I think we're not Hollywood enough to have Thompson watching us. But I guess he gets your intent, even without actually hearing or reading what you ask for. Yeah. All right, Moth Mouse with a 3-1 lead. Yeah, uh, it sure is to be expected from the matchup itself. Gilgo definitely has the advantage. But as we have seen, you know, Silverwolf can uh, actually avoid the missiles uh, quite well. So it's, uh, it's, it's not as desperate as you might think. Yeah, but what I think people Kami are... definitely, definitely oh. needs to do it is getting some, getting a bit more combo damage, and he gets lots of openers. He knows how to move across the screen quite well. He he jumps a lot, but you know it doesn't matter too much. He 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 knows how to circumvent the zoning, uh, but he doesn't get much out of it. Hides himself in the corner. But Mouth Mouth Blocks is below. And it's just with the grab. Trying to get. Because Mouth Mouth is jumping back, trying to get more zoning in. Uses a lot a lot more of the. Uh, oh, the lower oh, oh, yeah. Trying to grab. Uses a uh, low Gatling to punish the run. Mm. Oh, right, uh, over Mouth Mouth doesn't answer that much. Yeah, uses the missiles and then the low gathering. You can potentially and, and also get some confirm the nice sequence with the shadow. Oh, oh no! The... It was a really unfortunate sequence. And also some. And for, for me again, Saber Wolf is still burning. He is burning hot. You, know, this might be the uh, you know some gift uh, uh, illusion left, left us. Didn't do anything. Everyone's arms are on fire right now. Go catch and, this people. And do, do you notice? Did you notice that the the arm that's on fire actually switches sides? When uh, Saber Wolf switches sides, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. All right, reset. And Mothmoss does a great job of blocking those ragged right edges. Really, really well done. Definitely good defense on his part. That pressure got me lots of erratic jumps. Not that easy to answer, yeah. Oh, he the jump, but is punished for it. Remember, Shadow Rack Edge is 4 frames, so you can really do nasty stuff with that. <gasps> yes, the immediate counter. Oh no! I'm not sure why he keeps doing that. Oh, gets a better cross up Metal Ball! Oh no! <laughs> Another jump in. Oh, it's really, really close. And here's the instinct available. 
Was soll ich hier drin? Yes, Metal available. And Moth Mouse doesn't. If we can just dash and pop in things. Now Moth Mouse has Meter. And the wall is just too yeah, so strong. It is really, really rough for Sable Wolf to get through those projector hands. Is it the divine punishment for the pop off after just one game? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, you know, the, the taunt. Moth right. Mouse only. Moth Mouse Okami. only has a key but uh, Okami. I did believe in you. Full, fully fleshed out taunt. So. Maybe my advice was wrong. Maybe go a little bit back, maybe you reached up to, you know, some primordial uh, people. Maybe go back a little bit, you know. Alright. It's 4-1. Four, 4-1 one. Four, one for most months, but it's, it's not over yet, you know. My my, my Twitch games, app so on my phone uh, is bugged, and throughout the entire stream, it shows me that only three people are watching. But it might be truth. I I'm not saying it's not. Oh no, Atsu has left the lobby. Feels bad, man. I mean, at, the, at least. I mean, at at least in. Oh no! Yeah, for 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 me, I, I'm still in the loading screen. It's, it's a yeah, yeah. The me. logo is uh, spinning, like you know, and like uh, Kilgore's Gatlings. So yeah, it's, uh, apparently Crash had a problem. Yeah, yeah. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Correct. Yeah, we, we're stuck on this never-ending cycle of... Oh. Oh, no. actually it has ended. It has ended for us. Alright, so I'm in a lobby with Moth Mouse and Maddie. Yeah. So I guess... I, I don't know, do we do we want to remake the lobby just to be sure? Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can remake it. Alright, uh, Moth Mouse, if you can hear me, we're you know, making a redo. Yeah, how come you're saying, yeah, he got disconnected? You're not reaching that far to be past where the internet was gone. Come on. Okay, I, I, I remade it. But yeah, I can clearly understand the frustration, so don't, don't feel bad, guys. And dear viewers, sorry for all this inconvenience, but, you know, Microsoft... They, 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 they see us, uh, but it's not a good look. <laughs> True. So yeah, the I lobby mean, is up, yeah? The lobby is up, correct. Right. I mean, and, I mean, I mean, but to be fair, I mean, this, I mean, not really to be fair, but uh, these sort of issues have been around basically since forever. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not to that exact. Uh, Moth Mouse bringing up a, an excellent point. Can we get a, an emote? Thanks, lobbies. <laughs> Man, that that would be. Super That's a fantastic cool. idea, and it's mine. Well, it's not mine. It's Moth Mouse, but <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's something we'll definitely consider in our next uh, meeting. Yeah. How, how many slots do we have? Right now. Is it only one? Three. Damn. We need uh, to don't we have to too. invite those uh, people? That is oh. correct. I mean, but Moth right. yeah, Moth has, has to join via via Steam. And for, for some reason, I'm not. Oh, right. I, I believe uh, he's still shown us offline, right? Uh, Okami. So I have to. So, yeah. So the, the in-game invite option doesn't really easily show in. But yeah. Uh, the, the score is 5-1 for Mothmos. Am I correct? 4-1. Yep. Wasn't it? Wasn't that the fifth? Hey, never mind. 4-1, okay. So we wanted to game into game 6, but we didn't even get into the intros. 
but yeah. our combatants faced it's 4 1. I mean, at least. No, I believe it was 5 1. He, he had. He had. He had five no, one it was 4 1. It was 4 1. He had 5 1 for a second because it counted as a disconnect on Okami's oh, end. Oh, yeah. That, that's it is 4 1. Yeah. Hey. Wait, what? Oh, and Mothmos has Jago? What's happening? Did he not realize it was going on? I mean, he, he probably wasn't there because, you know, Jago is the, the default character for player one. Uh oh. Is this the first time it has happened? I mean, usually that's the disqualifier, but. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think we, we can't we can... hear us just murder uh, Moth Mouse. We will not count this towards the. Or, or will we? The voice in my head. Alright. Master, well, let him finish off. Don't block. There we go. All right. So the voices in my head are saying that. Supreme victory. All right. No one out of the combatants. No one wants to count it. So it's we are at four one. So we are still at four one. For uh, Mop Mouse, it will be really hard to uh, keep track. All right. Or well, actually, it's not even that hard because what? Now uh, Okami has one game, and he, and the score is four one. So uh, at least we can track this really easily. So, you know, we can find some good in this uh, unhappy accident. What are your major ultimates? What do you mean by is this the first time is this happened? What do I mean by that? Oh, uh, yeah. Ho oh, no, please don't. It's still spinning for me. I, I, I don't want to have oh, oh, all right, no, no night. Oh, no nightmares this night. I will to be cheating themselves. So. Alright, evades missiles greatly. Sweeps. Air to air. Oh, actually, with the grab. Oh, Mothmos getting out with a jump in, but promptly back into the corner. Nicely done by Okami. Keeping up the pressure in the corner, getting those throws in, getting the damage in. Was, was that a small key back? I'm not quite sure. What? Completely low profile as the Shadow EDP. Amazing. It's grab though. Lots of potential damage building up now. Something awakened in Moth Mouse. Okami jumps his way in. Moth Mouse gets a hit by the overhead. Alright, takes out the life bar. The break definitely in Okami's favor. Whoa, oh no. Okay, he's in the corner again. Kick out Moth Mouse. Uh, I can see All right, so it kicks me. You gotta love KI lobbies. It just kicks Sandy from the fucking room. Thanks, KI lobbies. Oh, huge camera opportunity. It has to go for a very small combo, though. And both players are in instinct right now. Let's see what they can do. 
Oh my god, that was so unfortunate. Moth Mouse breaking one and two, but not the three. Interesting choice here. That's the shadow counter. But still a lot of life to go through for Moth Mouse. Did you like how did you like how Crash was able to break uh Moth Mouse's shadow counter? Man, isn't that great? Poor Kilgore, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> yeah, that's really rough. Kilgore life for you. And another taunt? Damn! Yeah, has the Crash Okami won? Yeah, he yes. won it. Damn. Crash Okami, a very taunt heavy player. We see you. Hell yeah. We Unfortunately, we don't, we don't see Soundy. What is going on? Oh, I, I just uh, <laughs> decided to restart the lobby. Uh, okay. re restart my client, sorry. Oh god, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Soundy. Are you, are you facing the Sync DLC boss? Oh, it's fine, it's fine, I can see stuff happening. Okay, nice. Oh, uh, so, what's the score right now? 4 2? <laughs> yeah, it's 4 2. It is 4 2 yeah. for Mouth Mouse. Alright. Don't take the tone personally, I just Kami like the says... hole. <laughs> don't, don't take the teabag personally, I just like the gesture. I just I, I'm gesture. just doing wrist exercises. <laughs> wrist exercises. <laughs> <laughs> of course, why yeah. not? Alright, All right. so I suddenly didn't, uh, I wasn't fast enough to, uh, to get into the game. And, uh, finally broke it. Okami backing off a little bit. He needs to get back in. Great jump in. Moth was jumping in though. Huge combo opportunity. And he gets the full damage. Keep Moth was keeping his distance. Lots of super running going on here. Oh, come in, but he doesn't quite know how to deal with it yet. Yeah, Moth Mouse is jumping a lot more than usual. And it's working out in his face. Immediate counter back. He, he still does it again. I, I'm counter, not sure why. Counter breaker into counter breaker. The ultimate big brain strat. <laughs> Show the dominance. I'm not scared to do those. Yo, I'm going to counter when you break your ass them. twice. Fuck it. Okay. You're not going to punish me for that. That was really smart. Interrupted the shadow missiles. Another opener ender, but this time broke. So that that should teach Okami really not not to do that. Full combo opportunity for Moth Mouse. Okami doesn't break the heavies there at the very end. I have an opener though. You know, uh, with both of the players, I I think it might actually just be really effective. Like say, uh, since they're just doing like say really short combos. Uh, you might as well just always go for the damage and like say with Saber Wolf down up punch to always do the Eclipse Ender get the most damage off of the combos as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Same with Kilgore, just do the Missile Ender since Ooh. that's his damage Ender. Okami showing some really good patience and since Mothmos crouched, that Shadow Ragged Edge didn't hit a lot of times. Damn, just DP right in the right in his face. Yeah, that DP is. Like bitch, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Kilgore heavy DP moves him quite a distance, so it's that's a very, very good anti, yeah. If the right, opponent be, Beg your action. pardon, what's the score right now? Two five. It's right now four. Or, or five two, sorry. Five two four mouth mouse. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll go back and tidy. Yeah, yeah so, so uh, that's what's lurking Why somewhere. Beware. Alright. It's sadly like I, I might practice this sequence of rebooting and stuff to be able to you know get back in in one game. But for now my uh, you know my personal record is two games. 
I can work on that. We shall see. Maybe it will, you know, just... Just kick me out in the next two seconds. I really wish it won't. Yeah, let's hope. Let's pray oh. to the almighty lobby gods. I, I haven't... Uh, I have never realized that this stage is called the Arena of Judgment. It's really sick name. Yes. It's a really like, nice you know, stage. Like, you know, so like songs one. in my album. Nice Wait, jump. He he the jump yeah. oh. That was yeah. interesting. Oh. Completely undeserved by the bullets. Very interesting. Okay, just good damage, I think. Very nice, 26 percent. Yeah, it's an opener. Unfortunately, pushes him out of the corner. Oh, nice combo confirmed into another opener and the We're not in season two. You cannot juggle them. Their combo sure. breaker. All right, breaks the light, but his grab attempts get punished by shadow. Yeah, mm. uh, in something like this. Good job. And here's what I realized too: Moth Mouse is quite good at blocking the run options, but he doesn't punish them, even though they're very punishable. But, uh, this time he did though. Ooh, nice, nice dive kick from Okami. Unfortunately, he doesn't get much out of it. As well, he doesn't quite have the meter to Shadow Ragged Edge through those Shadow Missiles. He has to take them. And, and sadly, the anti-air yeah. projectiles yeah. miss do their thing. And Wolf still is burned. Oh, oh misses so the shadow counter. Mistimes it. That's in an opener and does another. Counter breaker. That's a bit more damage than usual. Doesn't do another oh, counter breaker. You, he could have gone into the ultra. Will we see a shadow counter? Oh! Oh my, that was so. Here, we have it again. Kirgon's very, very unreliable shadow counter window. Like, I mean, that, that was well, well timed, in my opinion, at least. I think it might be some net play garbage. Stuff like this happens. You think you will get the correct timing for your shadow counter, but for some reason, it, it gets bizarre. I have no clue how to explain this because I don't have big enough brain for games. <laughs> but <laughs> something is off in the uh, online plane regarding Shadow Counters. I think everyone who plays the game for, for an extended period of time knows that Shadow Counters are uh, finicky online. Yeah, I, I don't really have the offline experience to compare it to. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the same thing for I me. Know. Like, I can't really say much. I mean, I mean, I mean, those inconsistencies might be an offline play too. You know, I mean, how how do you know it's online and not just the game itself? How do you know we're even playing a game? Well, we're getting into existential what? stuff again. <laughs> okay. Can we back off and go into Chinatown Brawl, where definitely a wolf beats a robot? With another open opener. Open gets broken. Very early answer, yeah? Not quite what you want to do. But now Akami in the corner. Trying to jab something. He jabs the air. You know, maybe he thinks he can deflect the bullets, you know? If he just punches the bullets hard enough, maybe they return. Maybe. Oh, doesn't quite get, get the wolf punish. Another the overhead uh, crashes below. 
All right, will he cash out this damage? Good opportunity. Breaks the medium stone. Oh no. And another opener. Oh, he does it again. Oh, all right. No way! How many counter breakers? Uh, how how many counter breaker attempts that was that in a second? Like, how was there some galaxy brain counter breakers? Yeah, like hu huge cojones counter breakers. Like, let's be real. I mean, killing the opponent is really boring, isn't it? Oh yeah! Alright, goes for a grab. Moth Mouse, bad awful for you, but yeah, he gets out. Grab out the two minutes before Moth Mouse. Always best to keep the distance. This is Moth Bird and that's mid screen. Interesting, so choice. Moth Mouse now, being patient though, doesn't fall for the immediate. And that's an open end. Starts the combo with DP, I like it. We've seen the Pike of Card of Me likes it, you know, keep them in there. Of course. And the counter break, and he does another one! That's not what I want to do, it's so unfortunate. Alright, a Moth Mouse, a tip for you. Uh, you can actually, I don't remember if it was a grab or a DP, but I'm pretty certain you can continue a combo with, uh, I think it's down... Medium punch? Yeah. So here you could you could have done down medium punch in whatever and this would kill. Well unless you get broken, but that's another part of the equation. Alright, this match this, point. Uh, six to three. It's six to three, alright. Uh, but I mean, as bad as it sometimes seems for Crash Okami, uh, he, he definitely has the, the right idea in his mind uh, to circumvent uh, Moth Moses' zoning, so he definitely has that going for him. Just, you know, needs to uh, tighten up on his execution, and it's actually really solid. A really solid approach to the, to, to the matchup. Okay. Some jumping, some open enders again, but it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. You see this health difference? Alright, jumps over the Gatling. Open render again, gets broken, fine. Will we see a shadow counter? Yes, yes the shadow counter in time this time. Alright, I want to see some damage. Oh no, misjudges it. Ends it. Too late, too late. Another opener and... Oh, well, Ikami is throwing away a lot of damage. Oh, just full screen play dash. And I mean, gun dash, whatever it's called. Some interesting options oh, just, regarding just manuals. Oh, he gets he has the right idea, but another fortunate counter breaker attempt. And Wolf is still on fire. I'm not sure what's causing this to start, if it's always just for Wolf. Maybe? He's like highly flammable and you know, this keeps on. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that stuff burns for a while. I, I, I think animals versus fire is like a bad matchup whatsoever, so, so, you know. Moth Mouse just punching him in the face. And that, that EP was an interesting decision. He saw Okami press the button, but the reach. Right, Okami fighting for his life. Definitely, instinct is being popped. 
Instant Just response. Put it, jump in. All right, he's Damn. in danger. Anything could kill him, this kills. A... Moth uh, Mouse instinct. takes the entire set, 7-3. Instinct kill uh, not a job to deal with. Congratulations to our... Uh, thank you guys for showing up. Maybe I'll set it like that. Uh, if... You know, this uh, this event is also a uh, training opportunity, or an opportunity to improve for anyone. What I want you guys to do is I want you to go into uh, training mode, go into lab, and just practice doing just combos. Just uh, heavies, or not heavies, doubles into linkers. Links. This simple stuff. Because... The entire neutral thingy, you, you understand it, you know you both had a game plan, you both knew what to do. But there is this pure chaos in your combos, like, from the outside it looks as, as if you're a machine during combos, and you don't want that. Because the combo system in this game is like a game in itself, and sure, I think there is merit into deciding to kind of uh, put it aside and focus more on neutral. Uh, Moth Mouse, you say you use keyboard, so you're using auto combos. That's fine. I'm not saying it's bad for you, uh, for you especially, Moth Mouse. Just try to cash out this damage earlier when you see the lockout ending. Just uh, finish it. And you, Kami, I'm saying, and try to practice some short combos into Enders, maybe some um, medium uh, medium ones in terms of length to get to, to like 60, 70 kV. And some other, try to, you know, keep the combos, try to get kV meter as uh, high as possible without actually blowing up the combo. Focus on that. That's, it's, it's really a matter of, of practice, of getting the fear of it, because in especially in comparison to other fighting games, you know, combos in Killer Instinct really are sort of an, an art form, more or less. I mean, it's, 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 it's easy to make really custom combos, so to speak, and it's very important uh, that you do those combos, uh, that, the, that, that you mix them up, that the opponent uh, doesn't break your combos every time at, at, the, same, uh, at the same timing. Uh, just play with it. Get a, get a good feel for it, and if you get a good feel, if you get a good feel for it, then you can play around with it a, a little more and uh, customize your combos even more to a point where your combos become really difficult to break. And that's where you want to be. You want your combos to be difficult to break in general. Yeah, I either do it in a training or try to incorporate those longer uh, combos, plane versus bots. Because improving on that and focusing on that will definitely improve your uh, chances to win. Oh, All right. I think a lobby crashed for me. Okay, I think that's a, a good sign to end the stream. All right, dear viewers. Thank, 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 yeah. you, thank you everyone so much for tuning in into this week's Devil's Landing. Uh, really like your, your support. Uh, we uh, we we really like that you that that you keep tuning in into these great first to sevens. Uh, it's it's really a joy to watch. I mean, you know, to watch skill players to watch players from all skill levels uh, here at Devils Landing. I believe everyone can learn something from from these matches uh, for for their own character. Uh, or, you know, just in general to to get a feel of the game. How how are the other matchups? Um, because, you know, I mean, Killer Instinct has a lot of characters and you might never encounter certain matchups when you play the game on your own. So it's always very entertaining to see how other characters handle their own respective matchups. Has there um, been a matchup, Medi, where you think that you've never seen it or want to see it, but you don't recall seeing it? Uh, I don't recall seeing it. I, I definitely haven't seen a lot of Ego matchups. That I know for sure. Uh, I have maybe only seen like four or five matches ever with Eagle in it. Uh, so Eagle is definitely a character that I uh, have very little experience with. Yeah, that sad part of being the last character, you know, definitely. added to the yeah. roster. 
All right. Uh, any last words from anyone? Uh, I have nothing to add. Sorry. Always. No, I, I can. I can only say thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, Sony. Uh, of course, for being a wonderful person in general, giving us all <laughs> great commentary, uh, good analogies, yeah. and whatnot. So yeah, yeah. today I thanked uh, Disconnect, So you know, I I did my share of work. And I of course, thank you. To... Not... <laughs> right, go on, go on. After you. And of uh, and of course, thank so thanks to the wonderful Atsumachi, who handles all the streaming processes. Uh, always. Uh, it's always there when something goes wrong, you know, jumps in when uh, one of us is eventually being kicked from the lobby. So thank you also for that. And yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> I hope you had all, you all had a wonderful time with us and we will all catch you next week. Yeah, have a wonderful day.